What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kilo Loco and today we're gonna be going over them type aliases. Yeah, so type aliases, um, pretty much what they are and why you would want to use them in case you were curious. So um, we're gonna keep this video relatively short. Your boy is still sick, so I just wanted to put something out new for you guys that might be helpful um, that wouldn't take too much time or energy from me. So. Let's just jump right into it. So um, type aliases are type aliases are just um, a way for you to rename an existing type. And uh, the reason why you'd want to do something like this is just so that it would make your code more clear. It's not really gonna add any um, benefit to the way that your code runs. Um, it, there's no performance increasement. This is just to make your code more readable and make it so that, uh, you know, if you're using, um, you know, like things like functions or, uh, you know, just, just anything. If you're using properties anywhere, any type, um, anywhere else, you know, you just want to make sure that it's as clear as possible so that if you're not working on it or, um, uh, and somebody else is working on your code, it's clear to them how to use it. And even for yourself, you know, if you forget how something works, then you can just, um, you know, you could kind of remember what's supposed to go in there. So let's just jump right into it so that this makes a little bit more sense to you. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to um, create just a basic function that's just going to create a user. So let's go ahead and write that out right now. All right, so as you can see, we just have this very basic function, super simple, super easy to understand, you know, a function that's just, you know, taking in a name, um, and uh, that name is going to be of type string, obviously, and it's just printing out hello, and then I call it right here. So we're getting it to print out right here, right? Pretty simple. Um, and for you to understand this, I just wanted to keep it simple. So the reason why you would want to keep a type alias is like maybe, you know, um, since it's a string, you could literally just pass anything in there and you may not understand what greet the function is supposed to do for whatever reason, like maybe the, the name is really obscure, like I don't know what greet does, right? So what you could do is you could um, create a type alias. So you just use the keyword type alias and if you go ahead and press enter, it'll fill out how it's supposed to look. Now, the type name is pretty much exactly what you wanna call it, it's that. It, so instead of having it be called string, you could call it something else like name very you know simple straightforward now um the type expression is pretty much saying okay what do you want to um change what do you want to have as a type alias what is name type aliasing you know and we want it to be a string we want to replace um string with name in certain cases now string is obviously still available anywhere that you want to use it but instead of using string right here maybe we just want to use name we want to make sure that it's clear that we want it to be name and as you can see it gives me the syntax highlighting with name right here and then it's saying name is of type string so now if we go ahead and run that bam we get the same thing so uh i mean as expected like i said very simple very straightforward now this can work with any existing types and you can actually create your own types so if we wanted to um you know do something with our own uh, structure or, or class we could do that as well so right here we have a, sh um, a user struct right and um, you know you could have all kinds of different properties in it but if we wanted to type alias um, if we wanted to type alias the our custom user all we would have to do is just say once again type alias and then we would put whatever we want to call it you know like person you know and um, we would just say we're gonna override a user not over not not really overriding it but we're gonna you know type alias it as user so now if we wanted to create a user which doesn't have any property with doesn't have any properties um, we could just you know we could either do let you or let you equals you know user obviously right but we could also do let P equals you know person and as you can see, once again, person is of type user, so we could just access it just like normal. Now, that's great and all, and um, you know, it might be really useful because like I said, when, when you're using this stuff, it makes it so that, I mean, you could still pass in whatever right here because it's still accepting a string, you know, um, because name is a string. Um, 
but at least your code is a little bit more readable. It makes it more clear to whoever else is using your, your functionality. Now, one last thing that I want to just touch on is that you could also do this with, um, with closures. And one of the most common things uh, that you'll see done is a type alias for like when you're doing networking. So you'll get um, an error result. You'll actually see this a lot. You'll get error result and um, you know things like Alamo Fire implement that stuff for you. And what it really is saying is it's a closure like this. And if you don't understand this, you don't. Have, I mean, this has this is. Just, I'm just touching on some of the more advanced use cases of of um, type aliases. But um, yeah, you'll usually get um, a closure that's like this, where it's taken in an error, and then the function returns void. It's not returning anything, and then you'll be able to see you know error results. So instead of you know passing this into your when you're when you're specifying your functions um, arguments and their types, you could just use error result as opposed to just doing, you know, this nasty, ugly looking, you know, error th returns void, you know? So that's all t uh, type aliases are. It's just like giving a nickname to any type that you want to use. And since your custom, pro your custom uh, structs and classes are, you know, first class, um, first class types, they can be treated um, with type aliases and the same thing with closures. Closures are first class types so that you, you can use type aliases on those as well. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Um, if you learned something new, make sure you subscribe because a lot of people don't subscribe to my channel for what I don't know what reason. But make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. Um, if you have a question about something in your code or you just want to have a conversation, reach out to me on Twitter. That's probably the best place to do it. And then if you're interested in, in what's going on in my life, I post stuff on Instagram. Instagram sometimes so you can follow me there. So um, thank you for your time and make sure you guys keep coding passionately. Later.